You may have heard the saying, birds of a feather flock together. Well, the same can be said about pilots and their planes. For example, from Wapaka, Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz introduces us to a group that has made a tradition out of its EAA Air Venture arrival. So once I got in, I got hooked. Wayne Michelli of Kingsport, Tennessee, travels to EAA Air Venture the same way each year, in formation. It's uh, an adrenaline rush. Uh, it definitely is that. For the past five years, Michelli and about 30 other Piper Cherokee pilots have met up at Wapaka's airport to travel to EAA together. I've gotten to know all of these people personally. They're fantastic, absolutely professional pilots, and they've actually become like my family when they come out here. The group first traveled in formation to celebrate the 50-year anniversary of the Cherokee plane. The friendships formed in the first year have kept most of the pilots coming back each year. Uh, we've got folks from Oregon, folks from Florida, and everywhere in between. The pilots train year-round to be able to fly together. Leading up to EAA, they arrive in Wapaka a few days early to practice. You're originally learning how to fly an aircraft, you know, they, they tell you try to stay as far away from an airplane as you can, so now all of a sudden you, you know, you're doing something completely different from what you've been trained to do. It's actually quite safe uh, because you're flying with other pilots that you know and trust. While Friday morning's 40-mile flight from Wapaka to Oshkosh lasted no more than half an hour, the pilots and spectators say it's a highlight of the week. It is a beautiful sight. Wapaka, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. The group says they know of three other groups that also organize a mass EAA arrival each year.